everyone, it's me, Lily Quinn. So, a new makeup tutorial, a drag makeup tutorial, of course. I'm going to be doing a few, quite a bit more drag tutorials because, to be honest, I just I enjoy doing them and, yeah, and I noticed that you guys definitely prefer drag makeup tutorials. Um, didn't shave, of course, because it is just a tutorial, um, but I normally would have that shaved and sprayed down purple or something like that if I were to wear this. But, yeah, um, it's very dramatic and very sexy. Um, but yeah, if you want to see how I did this look, just keep on watching. So what I'm going to do is cover my brows using glue stick. Um, I actually found another met a different method that actually works even better. Like, I'm constantly looking for new methods to, like, amp up my, my, uh, drag, so, yes. So, what I'm gonna do, take, um, washable school glue, this one is the purple one, because I can see it a little bit better, so I know when it's completely dry, so what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna go against the grain of the hair, make sure every single hair is coated, go down, I actually learned this trick from um, Miss Fame. She actually was on Drag Race just this season. Um, so now I'm just gonna go in a different, in like a circle. And then you place them in the direction of the hair that they're gonna be going that they naturally go. So now you've got every single coat, every single strand coated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, um, a spoolie um, or a mascara, disposable mascara wand and I'm just going to bring it upward and flatten it as I go. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dry them real quick. Um, and I'm actually going to be using the cool setting. Now it's not completely flat. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue stick once again. I'm not going to need the um, spoolie or whatever you're going to use. Um, mascara wand, disposable mascara wand. I'm just going to go over that again, now that it's completely dry. Oh yeah, I'm just going to let that um, set and then do my wonderful method of taking and practically painting on the wonderful uh, stuff and then I'll be back after that to do the brow and then the eyes. So this side is completely done as you can obviously see. And then this side, brows covered, rest of the face hasn't been covered yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover the face, so what I'm gonna use is obviously drummer blonde. You guys know I love this stuff. So I'm just gonna cover the face. And what I like to do is just take my, my hands, dab it on the face, to just make, and make sure that I don't get, have any streaks and also smear a little bit. Well, not smear, but you know what I mean. And like that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, where's that brush? I'm gonna take this brush. This is a, this is just a regular share brush. And I'm going to take and squirt some of my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat um, liquid foundation in deep dark onto my hand. I'm just going to take and create 
slight contour right where I would need one. And then one right up here. One right there. And I'm keeping them very subtle because of the fact that you don't want them to be like BAM in your face. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna blend that together with a flat kabuki. And it looks like that. Now what I'm gonna do just to deepen that up, after I take and powder my face, I'm gonna take and apply another con a powder over that. Um, think eyeshadow. But I'm going to powder this real quick, just to set it all into place. Because really, I like to look, make it look like I have a, like my contour is natural, but not like so natural that it's like, do you even have anything going on? So I'm going to use faint eyeshadow with just an angled brush. Okie dokie. So that is that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be applying a blush, my Aziza blush. I'm going to be applying the light color. Um, with this brush, this is just a, like a, it is like a contouring brush, but I'm going to be using it for my wonderful And I'm going to be back with the brow done, and then we'll be um, back to do the eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some tape. This is just micropore tape. And so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to line that up with where I want the angle to be. Okie dokie. And next I am going to be applying Urban Decay Primer Potion, which I could have applied first. But for some reason I just didn't, apparently I didn't see the need to. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be applying Love Plus from Sugar Pill. And I'm just going to take this in. There we go. Because it was kind of bugging me. But I'm going to be applying that with a domed eyeshadow brush. is I'm going to be applying, um, I'm going to blend that first and then I'm going to apply, where's my blending brush, I'm going to blend, give that a good blend. And next I'm going to be applying with this brush is the 205 brush from Sonia Kashuk, and I'm going to be applying this color, which is from my um, BH Cosmetics palette. It is this one, which is basically, sorry about that, which is basically just a matte black.
do is I'm just going to be applying with this brush. I just took the tape off. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to be applying with this brush. This is the uh, Professional Refining Eye Brush from um, ELF. I'm going to be using Stargazer Powder. Um, you can use any eyeshadow. I'm not going to show it because mine, it, it ended up deciding it was going to bust in my, um, in my case. Because I do use my Stargazer Powder on my own, on myself, definitely. And for this part right down here, I am going to be applying this. Um, with this brush, it is basically just a regular eyeshadow brush. I'm going to be applying with, I'm going to be applying this color, which is basically just a deep purplish brown. I don't know whether the color reminds me of Ursula, but... And then I'm going to do the line and put mascara on and we'll be back. And I'll show you what it looks like without mascara uh, or without um, the lash on and then I'll put the lash on later on, okay? I'm going to be applying um, Too Faced Lash Injection Extreme Volume. From obviously from Too Faced. I'm just gonna be applying that to the top lashes. And now for lips, I'm first gonna take and use some of my um, Tokyo Milk lip balm. Let that soak in for a uh, few seconds. And what I'm gonna use, let me just grab the mascara, or not mascara, the um, lip or the pencil so the pencil I'm going to use is from um, Rimmel and I'm just going to take and line my lips filling them in um, on the corners, I'm going to fill in with a black powder, and then the rest of it, I'm going to fill in with, like, purple, so. I'm going to be right back to do that, and, yeah. And you'll see the, um, completed look. So, this is the completed look. Um, it's a little bit different than last time, a little more of that sexy, kind of seductress, kind of vibe. Um, I also decided to do my eyebrows a little bit different this time because of the fact that it's just, it looks so much better having them done differently, and this wig's a little bit annoying, um, but, yeah, um, I'll show you the full, full, um, straight up and down look in just a second. So this is the complete look straight up and down. I know I need padding, um, but I do plan on getting padding um, soon, so don't worry about that. I might make a video about it, like how to make it and everything like that. I don't know, I'm not sure yet, but anyways, um, this is the outfit to that I just decided that I decided went with this. The look is quite um, sexy, seductress, almost Morticia Adams like. Um, but anyways, um, the shirt underneath the corset, I had gotten like at a thrift store or something, and the corset I had gotten like I think from Spencer's if I remember correctly, I just, there was a chain on it, so I'm just like, okay, um, I'm going to take it off and then use ribbon, and for the skirt, because this isn't actually, doesn't go, isn't, um, the, the skirt doesn't, isn't attached to the top, I ended up getting like a pencil skirt or something like that, that, um, had like lace on it and I decided to turn it into like a mermaid skirt and it's very gorgeous and did some uh, embellishment on the um, bottom of it to give it a nice rose accent and shoes from oh god from I think uh, JCPenney I think it was um, but they're just cheap black ones which are pretty nice and the hair is actually from like a costume store believe it or not but 
Um, that's the thing, I can find these things that are really inexpensive that you can just transform into a gorgeous, gorgeous look. So, yeah, that's about it. Leave comments back on that stuff down below in the comment section. Comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. On to next time. Oh, I have um, Instagram and Twitter as well, just in case you guys know what I'm doing. That's about it.